What is good? It's Ronald Wills, aka the Road Mobile. She big with another video. She big with another video. I'm heading to the. Uh, I think I'm gonna head to Dollar General. I'm heading to Dollar General because I need to go buy some flashlights, maybe a couple candles, other necessities that you need for a hurricane. Uh, because I don't have not one, but two hurricanes headed my way. Awesome, cool beans, right? I know, before you be like, but girl, you should already have stuff like candles and flashlights and all that other stuff you need just in case, you know, emergency disasters happen. Yeah, I did. I, I did. And the last time I did, my house was under six feet of water. So it's just like, what help did having those things then ha help me? What help did they have with, I can't even properly say my sentence right. Basically, I had those things. Can you go, people? Uh, I had those things and uh, the storm devoured it or the water devoured it. It's just like, hey, that's not what this video is about. This video is about something that I've been noticing. And that's something I've been noticing well, first off, somebody brought this to my attention, and yeah, I've noticed it. The fact that I've been seeing a lot more scooter riders in everyday life more, like just driving, I'm like, oh, they have a scooter. I've been seeing it a lot more, like two, three times than I normally do, right? But what I also noticed since then, prices of scooters have went up. So there's something called a... People like to run lights, so I gotta. Oh, if you don't know, wonder, I only got one camera. I'm playing hide and seek with my other memory card, so I can only use one camera right now until I find my other memory card. Same with the gloves. So if you mention Shauna safety, where are your gloves? I can't find them. But when I do, I will wear them. So no worries. But uh. I noticed when people been buying, uh, uh, since people been buying more scooters, guess what has happened? The prices of scooters have went up cause, because there's this something called the MSRP, I mean MRSP, real, re, which is manufacturer retail suggested price, meaning this is the price that they suggest to, um, this is the price that they suggest to, uh, dealers scooter dealers to sell their scooter for so they suggest dealers sell scooters for this price and uh first off first note on that is that i noticed that that suggested retail price has went up for instance i'm just saying like all the brands for some reason the prices have went up uh for instance my scooter is a uh, Lance Havana Classic. Now, back in my day when I first bought it, which is in 2017. 2017? Or was it 2018? I think it was 2018. Yeah, 2018 is when I bought it. The very beginning, January 2018, is when I bought this scooter. Correct me if I'm wrong. Y'all probably know better than me. But it was uh, it was just a few years ago. Basically what I'm trying to say, a few years ago. And the retail suggested retail price was... $1,999. So, basically $2,000. Cool beans. Today, if you go try... Just look it up. Matter of fact, I'll put a picture on the screen. Uh, the suggested retail price for this scooter is now, like, $2,200. It's like, what? You ain't do nothing to, new to the scooter. Nothing has changed to the scooter. It's still the same on the inside, same on the outside. No new colors, no new styles, no new this. Nothing was added. Nothing was taken away. So why is it $200 more? Why? Because people have started to take the interest. Or maybe it's because of me. I'm going to blow my head up and make my ego bigger. Maybe it's because of me. Because I am rocking that Lance Havana Classic. And... It's not like I'm necessarily promoting it, but when people ask me what I ride, 
I tell them what I ride. And maybe people start buying this scooter some more. Then y'all need to pay me, Lance. Anyway. But, uh, let me turn my scooter off if I'm going to just sit here and talk. Come on. Where, where the piece at? I can't find my kicks. There it is. Nope, that ain't it. That, there we go. So, that's not the thing that irritates him. Fine. If you want to go up your prices, I mean, it happens. You realize people, there's a supply and demand. People want it. People are willing to pay for it. Go for it, right? My issue is then with the dealerships, right? The dealerships are the true trash of the trash, trash trash right because they are um they're they're they just basically they price price gouging right they straight up price price gouging i get you want to make you a profit that's an unopened cigar right there look like it's brand new still in the wrapper and everything somebody dropped they 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 cigar too bad i don't smoke but uh distracted come on Get back. Come back to us, Shauna. Come back to us. Uh, yeah, they price gouging. Basically, they like throw up the price anywhere from like six to uh, six hundred to a thousand dollars more than what the suggested retail price is. And they like to throw it. It's it's shipping fees and it's handling fees and it's uh, maintenance fees and it's taxes. And it's just like, what in the world are you doing, man? Would the amount of money you, they pay for fees? The dealers pay for fees. You could just go buy you a chi- order you a Chinese scooter off the line, son. It just you feel like you're being cheated. <sighs> so yeah, that's basically my frustrations. Cause uh, somebody was asking me about they was gonna buy a scooter, right? And I was like, and they asked me how much this was, and I told them how much I paid for it was, and it was like, really? Why does it say something on over there? And I went up there and I was like, what? They didn't increase their prices. And I was like, so then I emailed, I emailed somebody. I do this sometimes. I email, like if I'm interested in something, I'll email them or call them and ask them how much the price is. That way, when I go inside, I already got a quote and you ain't fixed to throw me off, right? Come back with me with a different price. So I emailed them and then they hit me back pretty quick though. Just a random dealership in Houston. I ain't going to give him no no publicity. I ain't about to say your name. Pay me, son. Anyway, I emailed him. And he emailed me back within like 10, 15 minutes. And he was like, oh, it's... How much did he say it was? I don't remember the exact price. But it was way more than what I paid for. I paid 2500 plus... Uh, I paid twenty five hundred plus. I had to get insurance, which made it twenty six hundred. The price where he was it was closer to like three thousand something, right? And I was like, "Well, dang! When did this scooter get so high? Come on, now! Nah. It was just like that. That don't make no sense. Y'all really trying to get people out here. I know times are hard, but why are you trying to make it harder for other people? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's that's just what I thought about, and it was just like that's so frustrating. You know what I'm thinking about this storm though, son. I'm trying to go in here and get flashlights and stuff, but I'm like, man, if we do another flood where I, my house gets doused in six feet of water, here's the thing. I've I've go, I've lost my stuff so much, like so often, to the point where it's like I don't even get attached to things anymore. Like, if my house were to flood again, I lose everything. It is what it is. It's just I'll just start over and build it up again. Ugh. It's frustrating, but if it happens, it is what it is. I don't think it's going to be too bad where I have to evacuate, but at the same time, you never know. If things get that bad, well, then it's just time to move around. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we don't lose everything and have to start a brand new life all over again after we just moved here. <laughs> fingers crossed, everybody. Fingers crossed. Let me go inside, do what I got to do. I might do one more video today and y'all have that video tomorrow or the day after that. Oh, sweet Jesus. Come on. Come on. Oh, something feel like it bit me. Let me go inside. I'll be out in a little bit. Oh, let me do it. Shauna and Ramen is out. Deuces. Da-da-da-da-da-da.